I was reading uh, one of the haters' comments. They said, hey, Father, you've done telemarketing for many years. This is true. And there are certain things that people have called you scammer or whatever, you know, be hustler or whatever it is. You know, there are these like online, um, I guess, whatever these like cheap platforms where, you know, you could type in someone's like phone number and um, you could see if that number has any complaints on it. Meaning like these are just average people. They're not judges. They're not, you know, the law. They're not attorneys. They're just people. Okay. So I'll just give you one example. A long, long time ago, I had an idea. Okay? I didn't ask for any money. I did not collect one cent. But it was an idea where I wanted to create nationwide okay, uh, music studios where musicians could get together and uh, not just have access to the greatest music equipment. I'm talking about the, the, the greatest guitars, drums, the greatest recording equipment, but also would be a place to network. It would be a place where musicians could get together and, and meet each other, possibly, you know, join bands or get gigs, you know, because they're networking. I thought it was a great idea. So what I did was what's called a test run. It's a test run, meaning I would never ask $1 from anybody. I would never do that. But what I did was I was calling up musicians nationwide. I got this one musician. I think his name was James. I forget what state he was in. And I'm talking to this guy, and he tells me to go F myself. And he hangs up the phone on me, right? So I wasn't having such a great day. <laughs> I was like, well, there's no need for that. So you know how Ape Father, you know, likes to get back. I like, you know, it's just how I am. It's I'm Sicilian. You know, V for victory, also V for vendetta. So I called him back. He picked up, hello. I go, hey, James, is this James? He goes, yeah. I said, go F yourself, mother effer. And I hung up on him. Well, he didn't like that too much. <laughs> it was okay for James to tell me to go F myself, but it was not okay for a father to tell him. I was just Richie back then. I wasn't a father, but it was not okay for me to tell him to go F himself. So then he goes online and he starts writing about this. He's like, I got a call today at this number and, uh, you know, he's talking about some, you know, crazy idea. And he tells me to go F myself and hangs up on me. Complete scammer, you know, a piece of garbage, all this stuff. Okay, great. So here's the thing. Okay, let's actually analyze what happened. Can, can we do it? Because I, I know these haters, they love to use the word scam. Okay, making a phone call, let's talk about it, is not a scam. Making a phone call, okay. Explaining to the person on the other end of the line that you do not want any money. I did not accept one dollar, and you were explaining to him that you were just trying to do like like a survey. You, that's all I was doing. I wanted to get feedback. I wanted to see if musicians like this idea. That's all I was doing. The guy tells me to go f myself. Now this is America. People have the right to tell you to go f yourself, but understand that's not a one way street. He wants to tell me to go f myself. Well, hey. I don't work for anybody. At the time I was working for myself, I always work for myself. I've always been self-employed. I'm not looking to have good PR and I'm not looking, you know, I'm not representing, you know, a Fortune 500 that I have to be respectful. He wants to tell me to go F myself. I called him back and I told him to go F himself as well because that's America, right? We have freedom of speech, right? We have freedom of speech, okay? Well, he then decided to go online and call me a scammer, okay? You know what's great about this particular video I'm doing because this guy is doing the same exact thing that every internet tr uh, troll does. All these internet trolls, okay? He uses the word scammer. This is a word used a lot. It's used a lot. It's used by him. It's used by all these psychopaths, Norman Bates psychopaths on the internet. But in reality, what scam did I commit? I didn't commit any scam. Once again, let's talk about what I did. I made a phone call, nothing nothing illegal about that, right? No, no scam. I was crystal, crystal clear. I was not accepting any money and I just wanted to do a survey and I wanted to get feedback. This mother effort decides to call, what do you say? Tell me to go after myself and hang up on me? Well, it's America. He has the right to do that, but so do I. So I told him to go after himself, okay? That results in him calling me a scammer, okay? I didn't, no scam was committed. No money was accepted. No scam was committed. It was just two adults 
basically telling each other to go after themselves. Now, granted, it was annoying what I did. I'm not going to say people don't want to get a call out of the blue. You know, I get it. I don't do that no more. <laughs> Just to be crystal clear, this was many, many, many years ago. I'm talking about this was like when I was living in like Staten Island, when I had like a tiny apartment. This is like way before 2017, way before, way before. This is many years ago. Okay, I don't do this no more. But I had an idea, you know, a father has a lot of ideas and I wanted to get, I wanted to get people's opinion on it. No scam was committed. No money was lost. That's it. No harm, no foul. So once again, this guy calls me a scam, a scammer, whatever it is. It's not true. No scam was committed. A father's got a perfect record. Clean like a baby's ASS, baby. Clean. Clean. I am a law abided citizen. This video is not financial advice not a financial planner. This video is for entertainment purposes only.